The World Resources Forum is a non-profit organization for sharing knowledge about the economic, political, social and environmental implications of global resource use. WRF promotes resource productivity among researchers, policymakers, business, NGOs and the public. In addition to organizing international and regional conferences, the WRF Secretariat coordinates multi-stakeholder dialogue projects, amongst others the Sustainable Recycling Initiative as well as the H2020 project towards a World Forum on Raw Materials WRF serves as a platform fostering knowledge exchange between academics, politicians, research-oriented practitioners, entrepreneurs, consultants and other professionals in the areas of the Sustainable Development Goals Sustainable Development. About the organization The WRF aims to bring the issues of global resource consumption and resource productivity higher on the agenda of policymakers and business leaders. Aspects covered by the WRF include the scarcity and security of supply as well as the price risks of key resources. The issues of pollution and energy use over the life cycle of certain resources, their social impact, in particular in developing countries, and in general the Sustainable Development Goals are topics examined by the WRF as well. As an interlink between research, industry and policymaking, WRF emphasizes the facilitation of networking in order to optimize the transfer of knowledge between the different stakeholders. For that purpose, special events are organized and connections to key leaders can be established through the WRF Secretariat. The WRF capacity building activities include, for instance, supporting the participation of scientists from developing countries and of young people for example the youth program of the 2011 WRF conference and kids and YWRF program of WRF 2013. Flagship activity is the organization of the annual WRF conference, which usually takes place in the fall and brings together science, research, policymakers and industry. The program usually includes a series of high-level keynotes, parallel sessions and targeted workshops as well as special side events. Apart from the regular media reports are regularly being written by student reporters. Furthermore, the WRF Secretariat conducts other knowledge and multi-stakeholder dialogue as well, such as the dissemination of UN Environment International Resource Panel reports their website, social media and MOOCs. The corporate image of the World Resources Forum was designed by Helmut Langer. It shows a white R in a blue world which symbolizes not only the resource issue but also associations like refusing, reducing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing, remanufacturing, repurposing, recycling and recovering. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Organizational structure. The WRF is a non-for-profit association, with a General Assembly and Board. The WRF Secretariat, based in St. Gallen, Switzerland, is responsible for the coordination and organization of multiple activities. Founding members are the Swiss Federal Office for the Environment, the Swiss Interdisciplinary Research Institution and Service Provider for Materials Science and Technology EMPA, the United Nations Environment International Resource Panel, Hewlett-Packard, and the City of St. Gallen. 
Other members include the German Federal Environment Agency, the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure and Environment, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the Swiss Academies of Arts and Sciences, the Romberg Group, the Global E-Sustainability Initiative the Mercator Foundation Switzerland, the Association for Quality and Management Systems the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the Foundation for Rare Metals ESM, the Swiss Academy of Engineering Sciences and the Finnish Innovation Fund SITRA. History The Swiss Federal Laboratories for Materials Science and Technology, EMPA, part of the ETH domain, has organized international conferences on recycling and reuse of resources since 1995, the so-called R series R93, R95 etc. R referred to reduce, reuse and recycle. In 2009 EMPA together with the Factor 10 Institute decided to broaden the scope of the conferences to include the full life cycle of products and services. And so the series of conferences became the World Resources Forum, which has been attracting high-level politicians, business leaders, NGOs and scientists from all over the world ever since. In 2009 the WRF conference was organized in Davos, Switzerland, back-to-back -back with the R09 Twin World Congress on Resource Management and Technology for Material and Energy Efficiency the R conferences got entirely integrated into the WRF and in 2011 the enlarged WRF conference took place again in Davos, followed by annual flagship meetings in Switzerland and beyond See next chapter. The spin-off of the Secretariat from EMPA and inauguration of the Independent WRF Association took place on 16 March 2012 in St. Gallen, Switzerland, with support from governmental and non-governmental organizations, as well as the private sector. Bas de Liu former UN Environment became its first managing director, and Zavere Edelman former EMPA its first president. Former FOEN Federal Office for the Environment Director Bruno Oberly was elected president in 2018. Zavere Edelman stayed on as vice president. Bas de Liu was elected full member of the Club of Rome in 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vision and Mission. WRF envisions the world where influential decision makers, established civil societies, key industrial players, leading scientists and the empowered public interact and communicate on setting the agenda and developing solutions on sustainable use of resources worldwide, paying close attention to the delicate interplay between the economic, social and environmental implications of resource use as well as acknowledging the challenges of increasing pressure on available resources. Through this interaction of multiple stakeholders, innovative and effective solutions emerge, addressing the issue of efficiency and sufficiency of resource utilization amongst consumers, producers and waste management sector, establishing sustainable practices of resources use worldwide. The World Resources Forum aims to make their vision of sustainable use of resources worldwide a reality through organization of high-level international conferences and capacity-building workshops, dissemination of relevant research findings and scientific discussions, development of resource efficiency indices, setting standards for sustainable resource use, creation of opportunities for financing resource efficiency projects as well as through engagement with young leaders and the wider public. WRF is committed to the inclusiveness of economic growth and elimination of poverty and marginalization, thus making these issues a core element in any objectives we pursue. Topic: 
Conferences Flagship activity of the World Resources Forum is the organization of the annual WRF conference, which brings together science, research, policymakers and industry. The program includes a series of high-level keynotes, parallel sessions and targeted workshops as well as special side events. The program normally also include WRF Cinema, WRF Art Gallery, WRF Workshop Parade and WRF Gala Dinner. The workshop parade format was shortlisted for the Audience Interaction Award by the Meeting Design Institute at the Multi-Hub Fresh 2018 conference. The World Resources Forum Secretariat also organizes regional conferences such as the Asia-Pacific Resources Forum, and the Latin America and the Caribbean Resources Forum, and it contributes to the biannual European Resources Forum, held in Berlin, organized by the German federal environment agency Uber. In 2016 the first Swiss Resources Forum, focusing on resources issues within Switzerland, was organized in the Nest, Empers Innovation Hub in Dubendorf, Zürich. WRF 2019 WRF 2019 on Resource Governance will be held in Geneva, October 23–24, 2019, at the Centre International de Conferences Geneve. Topic WRF 19 Antwerp WRF 19 on Closing Loops was held in Antwerp, Belgium, on 24–27 February 2019, at the Flanders Meeting and Convention Center, co-organized with OVAM, the Public Waste Agency of Flanders. The conference attracted some 750 participants from 70 countries. Her Majesty the Queen of Belgium visited the opening session in her capacity as advocate of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The conference was originally planned to take place in autumn 2018. WRF 2017 This conference took place in Geneva on 24–26 October 2017 at the Centre International de Conferences Geneve. WRF 2017 has focused on accelerating the resource revolution and the over 400 participants from 48 countries discussed topics such as the governance of raw materials, circular economy and sustainable recycling, the sustainable development goals, business concepts on resource efficiency and decoupling, sustainable consumption and production, life cycle thinking, smart cities, infrastructure and lifestyles and capacity building for resource efficiency. Keynote speakers have included, amongst others, Mathis Wackenagel, Jorgen Randers, Anders Weikman and Janis Potartnik. The meeting report was published in 2018. <laughs> World Circular Economy Forum 2017 Together with the Finnish Innovation Fund SITRA, World Resources Forum has co-organized the World Circular Economy Forum in June 2017 with the Nordic Council of Ministers, the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, the Finnish Government, the European Commission, the European Environment Agency, International Institute for Sustainable Development, UN Environment and WBCSD. The forum has focused on showcasing circular economy solutions for business, cities and finance and attracted 1,500 participants from 105 countries. Overall conclusion of the WCEF was that the business case for circular economy does not have to be made, but that many countries and businesses are already leading the way. Topic: Swiss Resources Forum 2016. 
The WRF organized together with other stakeholders a resource forum focusing on Switzerland. The conference brought together over 100 participants from industry as well as policymakers and researchers. It focused on the supply of critical metals and other resources needed for renewable energy and energy efficient technologies, innovation and economic growth. The main outcome stated that Switzerland not only needs an energy revolution away from fossil fuels but also a resource revolution. Topic: <laughs> WRF LAC 2016 The World Resources Forum Latin America and the Caribbean was held in San Jose, Costa Rica in conjunction with the International Sustainable Building Congress, organized by the Green Building Council Costa Rica, WRF and UNEP. About 380 participants from 30 countries focused on the key topics of sustainable business and financing, bioeconomy, priority resources for cities, sustainable lifestyles and education, resource efficiency policies for sustainable cities and lifestyles, sustainable and inclusive cities and buildings. The meeting report was published in 2016. Topic WRF twenty fifteen World Resources Forum twenty fifteen was held in Davos, Switzerland, from eleven to fourteen October twenty fifteen, and had over six hundred participants coming from one hundred and eight countries. Discussed topics included circular economy and decoupling, technological innovation, business and finance, targets, indicators, and benchmarks for resource use as well as lifestyles and education. One of the main outcomes of the conference was that there is a strong need for reliable and comprehensive indicators and benchmarks that could produce meaningful data to set targets and goals for policymakers in the field of resource management. The meeting report was published in 2015. Topic: <laughs> WRF Asia Pacific 2015. World Resources Forum Asia Pacific was held in Sydney, Australia, from 1 to 3 June 2015, and attracted close to 300 participants. An action agenda on resource productivity and innovation was launched by the Institute for Sustainable Futures of the University of Technology and the Centre for Sustainable Materials Research and Technology at UNSW Australia. The chairman's summary was published in 2015. Key themes discussed during the conference were resource productivity in the Asia-Pacific, enabling transition pathways and innovation through collaboration. WRF 2014 World Resources Forum 2014 was held in Arequipa, Peru, from 19 to 22 October 2014 and attracted over 1,000 participants coming from 40 countries and international organizations. Main topics of the conference included issues such as increasing resource productivity, fighting climate change, decreasing the environmental and social burden of current consumption and production patterns, and achieving a high quality of life for the current and future generations. The meeting report was published in 2015. WRF 2013 World Resources Forum 2013 was held in Davos, Switzerland, 6–9 October 2013 and attracted over 400 participants from 53 countries and international organizations. 
Main conference topics at WRF 2013 were resource efficiency and governance, sustainable business and industry, sustainable cities and infrastructure, and lifestyles and education. The conference included plenary speeches by leading experts such as Ernst Ulrich von Weizsäcker, as well as debates featuring Gerben Jan Gerbrandy, Reinhard Butikofer, and H. R. H. Prince Jamie of Bourbon Palmer. The meeting report was published in 2013. A video with conference highlights was published by Ubrain TV. WRF 2012 World Resources Forum 2012 was held from 21 to 23 October at the China National Convention Center in Beijing, China, and attracted over 700 participants. Main theme of this forum, co-organized with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, was resources and green economy. The outcome of the conference stated that scarcity of resources, increasing prices, and unsustainable use of resources do hinder economic development and therefore pose risks for global stability. The meeting report was published in 2012. Topic: <laughs> WRF 2011 More than 400 participants from over 40 countries and international organizations attended the World Resources Forum 2011 in Davos, Switzerland, from 19 to 21 September 2011. The results from the conference were documented in a meeting report and were submitted to the Rio Plus 2O Earth Summit's compilation document, as well as other stakeholders, such as the International Monetary Fund. The Swiss government adopted the recommendations and integrated these in their statements in Rio. Topics discussed at the conference included the security of supply, assessment methods, resource use indicators and targets, the social dimension of resources as well as communication and education. The meeting report was published in 2011. Topic WRF two thousand and nine The R O nine Conference on Resource Management and Technology for Material and Energy Efficiency was run simultaneously in Davos and Nagoya from fourteen to the sixteenth of September two thousand and nine. The main goal of the ninth event in the R World Congress series was to promote technologies and frameworks for enhancing the material and energy efficiency of products, services and processes from production and use to recycling, including developing sustainable solutions for tackling the growing mountain of e-waste. The conference was organized by EMPA in cooperation with the Swiss Academy of Engineering Sciences, the Ecotopia Science Institute of the University of Nagoya, and the Factor 10 Institute. For the first time, that year's conference was followed by the World Resources Forum, where politicians and scientists had the opportunity to discuss new economic frameworks promoting the sustainable use of resources. The innovative two-site conference concept saved considerable amounts of CO2, so the conclusion of a scientific paper, published in Elsevier's Telematics and Informatics Journal. At the Davos meeting, WRF attendees adopted a declaration that calls for Western economies to massively reduce their material inputs and for the world to dramatically increase resource productivity. They also agreed that, because the price of natural resources is low compared to that of labor, industry will not purposely drive those changes. Only governments can provide the necessary framework and incentives. <laughs> Key projects The World Resources Forum Secretariat coordinates and has the project lead for various programs. 
they range from development cooperation projects to more governance-oriented initiatives. Topic: <laughs> Sustainable recycling industries. The Sustainable Recycling Industries program builds capacity for sustainable recycling in developing countries. The program is funded by the Swiss State Secretariat of Economic Affairs and is implemented by the EMPA, WRF and EcoInvent. It builds on the success of implementing e-waste recycling systems together with various developing countries for more than 10 years. The SHRI program attempts to attain three objectives. First, it develops basic data for the assessment of environmental and social life cycle performance for industrial activities through the improvement of local and regional expertise in Brazil, India and South Africa. Furthermore, SHRI improves local capacity for sustainable recycling together with private and public institutions, as well as the informal sector in Colombia, Egypt, Ghana, India, Peru, and South Africa. Lastly, the program facilitates a stakeholder consultation for the development of sustainability criteria for secondary raw materials. This has resulted in the ISO International Workshop Agreement on the Guidance Principles for the Sustainable Management of Secondary Metals ISO IWA 19 which was launched at the 13th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to the Basel Convention. This new ISO document aims to guide economic operators of secondary metals value chains, including the informal sector, in the efficient and credible implementation of improved recycling practices, in particular in emerging and developing economies. The video, "'Tales of Trash – Five Principles for Inclusive Recycling' introduces the program in just three, five minutes. Topic. Towards a World Forum on Raw Materials The project Towards a World Forum on Raw Materials develops and sets up an EU-based platform of international experts and stakeholders that will advance the idea of a World Forum on Raw Materials and enhance the international cooperation on raw material policies and investments. This platform works together on making the current complex maze of existing raw material related initiatives more effective. As such, the FORAM project is said to be the largest collaborative effort for raw materials strategy cooperation on a global level so date. The global use of mineral resources has drastically increased and supply chains have become ever more complex. Several global initiatives and organizations have been contributing to knowledge and information transfer, including the European Commission, the European Geological Survey, the European Federation of Geologists, UNEP International Resource Panel, the World Resources Forum, the World Materials Forum, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and others. It is widely felt that improved international resource transparency and governance would be beneficial for all, since it would lead to stability, predictability, resource efficiency and hence a better foundation for competitiveness on a sustainable basis. FORAM 18 The pilot event of the project, will be organized on 27 June 2018 in Nancy, France, back-to-back -back with the World Materials Forum. Launching and preparatory events have been held in Brussels during Raw Materials Week, and Geneva, as part of the World Resources Forum 2017. Providing e-learning platforms and webinars 
WRF also takes up a leading role in the planning, coordination and production of massive open online courses on issues such as e-waste, resource efficiency and circular economy. Examples are the MOOC on e-waste and the MOCC on decoupling with partners such as UN Environment International Resources Panel, Secretariat of the Basel Convention, Climate KIC, Stellenbosch University and Engageability. Igniting business investments in resource efficiency Igniting business investments in resource efficiency developed as part of the United Nations 10-year framework programs on sustainable consumption and production, aims at boosting private investments in support of the advancement of sustainable lifestyles worldwide, by identifying funding sources and making them aware of promising business innovations, and by facilitating and supporting access of entrepreneurs to the new global markets that serve the emergence of sustainable lifestyles worldwide. Building upon decades of good work on cleaner production and related concepts, as well as on development cooperation and innovation programs, the IBIRE program ignites worldwide attention of various types of investors and donors to the business opportunities that the shift to more sustainable lifestyles has to offer. Other projects and programs In addition to the dissemination of scientific reports and papers, WRF also funds publications and papers in collaboration with universities and research institutes. In cooperation with Leiden University, WRF published the paper Towards a Resource Efficiency Index of Nations.